Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, I'm bringing you back now because we have busted teeth on our backhoe. We've never replaced those before, um, and we also I also want to do a hydraulic hose on that. And last time I checked, the gold is once again at an all-time high, 12:30. My goodness, I don't, I've never seen it that high before. Um. And I am sitting on two buckets of full buckets of magnetite and 870 ounces of gold from what we've done so far. So I'm thinking about doing a, even though I'm not in, completely done yet, I'm thinking about doing a, um, a cash out, right, with what we can't have right now. But first of all, let's get some teeth. So yeah, we need six of these. They're not all broken, but they're, most of them are in pretty bad shape. So let's, oh, actually, yeah. And I, cause I have a, a spare hydraulic hose to replace that. So let's get that done first and I'll show you, you know, where I'm at with the digging. We are really close to being done. Um, but I really want to kind of take advantage of the, the price you know of the gold right now because it's as high as it's been and it might keep getting higher or it might not i don't know i do not know the answer to that so this is here let's turn our light on here that's a good hydraulic hose there and we'll grab all of these teeth take them out and put them on the backhoe or i'm sorry the excavator <laughs> the backhoe excavator and then show you what we've done and then I'll decide if I want to go do a cash in now. I mean, with 870 ounces with the price it is now and two buckets of magnetite, we have a easily have another mill. Absolutely have another mill there. And you know what I want to do, like I've mentioned is I want to buy that tier 5 trommel, but we're also going to need, you know, a decent chunk of change to do the move and all of that sort of thing too. All right, so let's head on out to the to the dig. I finished all of the rich dirt um, on the on the side here, and I'm kind of back now at, at the very end, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, so we've dug all of this out there, and that's finished. I'm no longer going to dig anything more out of there, and now we're just getting those last few squares on the tail end there that still have some pretty good gold in them. So I'm guessing maybe two to three, uh, what am I doing? Goodness. Uh, two to three more cleanouts, and then we'll be done with Old Donald. It is also, what time is it? It's 4.41 p.m., so we still have plenty of time. It's just going to be dark, but so what else is near, right? So let's get up the path here. good enough so I just recently replaced this hydraulic hose here so it's still in pretty good shape yeah it's at 87 percent so it's fine uh, but we do need to take this one down so let's do that first and then we'll do the teeth this one is like two percent it's really really low Toss that there for a second. And I have been, you know, kind of scraping the, the bedrock, which is not good for the teeth, but I'm just trying to get this really good dirt out of here. Um, so, yeah, you can kind of see what I've what I've been doing down there. Uh, all right, so that takes care of the hose. Let's put this in the back of the truck. So I've never done teeth before. This is the first time we've had to actually do the teeth. So I guess we would use the crowbar to remove those. Yep, sure enough. Okay, let's toss the bad ones over there.
All right, nice. Now we'll grab the good teeth, and I guess we just pop them on just like that. Much easier to put on than take off. Wonder how these attach in real life. They probably have some kind of big set screw or something that keeps them in there, I'm guessing. Uh, there we go. All right, very good. We'll take these back and sell them. Let's see, I've had to replace the conveyor buckets again. And a few hoses. And some buttons. Just the usual stuff that always seems to break. I don't... Uh, fairly recently, I had to replace the hose in the magnetite separator. But that was a little while ago. I had to restart the game too before I started the recording because it was lagging really bad. So I don't have my squares marked. I'll have to remark them. You know, why don't we. Why don't we just go sell? I mean, because here's the thing. We're going to have another uh, another bit of gold, and the price will either go up or it won't, you know, but let's take advantage of it while it's good. So I think we will do that. So let's just get rid of this stuff first. I could even grab the other magnetite bucket, but... Since we're not done, quite done yet, there's no point in doing that. Because I think it's only like 30% full or something. But we're getting close, guys. We are getting close. We are just about done with old Arnold. We have This is the only, only place we've been for this whole series so far. To me, it seems like it's been forever. You know? It hasn't, of course. But... Alright, let's just get rid of this stuff. So the... I've noticed that if I keep broken stuff around... The mechanics will sometimes try and repair it, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, except for that I'd rather have them, whoops, I'd rather have them working on, you know, stuff on the plant. So that way the plant can keep going rather than working on something that's already in the junk pile. The one exception to that, though, is they did uh, nearly, if not entirely, fully repair a, a pretty expensive electric motor. Uh, which I still have sitting over in the generator. So, you know, that was definitely worthwhile to have them do. All right, let's dump the two buckets out. This is all just pure money now, guys. We, we're completely upgraded. If you didn't catch the last, I think it was the last episode or maybe the one before that. Um, so any magnetite we get now turns into cold, hard cash. Beautiful thing. Okay, let's dump that. Alrighty. I'll see you at the blacksmith. Okay, so let's do our little cheesy cheat here. <laughs> um, we are going to set the time scale to 12. So I don't have to wait in real life. And let's sell our magnetite first. 75000 almost $76,000 for two buckets of magnetite. It's wonderful. Okay. Do we still have actually more? Oh, we do. Oh, my goodness. All right. So there's another 7000 I guess he can only take so much magnetite at a time. Okay, that now we're done with the magnetite. Awesome. So, what do we get? Around eighty thousand for for two buckets. That is really good. Okay, let's do our gold. Oh no 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 no! Oh gee, pay attention. We don't want to sell gold. We want to smelt. Oh man, I'm glad I caught that. That would have been just a tragedy. We would have lost forty percent. Well, no, I would have reloaded the game at that point. <laughs> it's like, no way, no. Nah. Can you imagine losing 40% of that much, well, almost a million dollars? That would have been sad. Yeah, no, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have let that happen. 
No siree, Bob. All right, so I'll meet you guys at the bank when we get all of the bars smelted. Okay, here we are at the bank. Price has gone up even more. Boy, now it makes me wonder if I should wait. Now, nah, let's just do it. Let's get her done, man. Okay, so that puts us up to 1.17 million. Where's my truck going? Dollars. Nice. <laughs> Don't open the truck. For goodness sakes. Okay, close the trunk. There we go. All right, guys. So, yeah. And, again, like I said, we're not done. Uh, I'm, I'm, I want to hit the rest of those hot spots. It's not going to be a ton. I, like I said, I think it's going to be one to two more cleanouts. Maybe three if you count what I still what I already have in the plant. So I guess the question now is should we throw the tier five trommel in now? We get just a little bit more gold if we did that. Um let me go see what what the cost is on that. I'm just trying to decide if I want to mess with it right now. So that's this boy. Oh, okay. That's not even half a mil, as if that, that isn't expensive enough, right? Um, I'd have okay. I'm just trying to think. I'd have to bring the backhoe back down. The sorry excavator back down. Lift the other thing out. Get it out of the way. Nah, you know what? I'm not gonna do it. I am gonna buy this though, because this is the best time of year to be buying stuff like this. Uh, so we are gonna buy one. Okay. And what does that leave? Well, we haven't bought it, bought it yet. How much do the the gravel pumps cost? Ooh, those are more expensive than the trommel. A little over a half a mil there. Okay. We'll wait on those. My intent has always been, well, not always, but has been to um, start on Nighthawk with the Tier 5 trommel. So let's go ahead and purchase that. And wow, that still leaves us $735,000. We could potentially start with the trommel and a gravel pump. How much is this guy? Woo wee! <laughs> Glacier Creek is almost a million all by itself. Yeah. Um, well, I'll tell you what, let's just see what we end up with. When we're completely done on old Arnold, money-wise, right? And then decide if we can also afford a gravel pump. We probably can. In fact, I'm sure we can, the more that I think about it. It's even conceivably possible that we could afford two, but I don't think we have enough gold left to make that much money. Because remember, again, I want we, we want to keep some money. We're going to need some money to make the move. Uh, for, to pay for transport fees and repairs and storage and all that sort of thing. Uh, all right, nifty. So we have purchased the Tier 5 Trommel, but we're just going to keep it in storage until we get to Nighthawk. Because I don't think it's worth messing around at this point for me to try and install it. Uh, if I had a little bit more dirt left yet to go, I probably would. But there's just not that much left to do. So I think I'm not going to screw with it. We're just going to leave it the way it is. And finish up here on OA. All right. And maybe we'll luck out and the price will go up even higher on our final, you know, our final payout. Oh, you know what? I forgot to, I forgot to turn the time back down. Let's go. Whoops. No. Game settings. Not that. This. There we go. Okay, so let's see. We are... We got a full hopper and a full D-rocker and 39%, but I'm working on one more dump truck load before we start the plant up again. So let's go to... I think this is where we want to be. Oh, we're kind of hovering on the edge there, aren't we? Let's go into the map. 
and remark our squares here. So let's see, we're working on this one, this one, that one, and this one. And we've pretty much dug these. There's a little bit of dirt at the bottom of that one. So um, this one, that's only got 166 ounces in it. I don't think that's worth messing with. This one has 274, 294, 346. This one is really rich. And it's also very shallow too um, because it's, you know, up on the bank. And that one has 255, but is also very rich. So we want to scrape as much of the that away as we can. Uh, then we're going to, you know, as we dig back, dig this one out. We'll probably dig that one out because it's got over 300 ounces in it. And then I don't know about this one. It's only got 188. So that we probably won't do that one. So this is probably all we have left to dig. Uh, none of these over here are really fantastic. So, yeah. Cool. All right. Um, I am thinking, though, we might want to reposition our backhoe a little bit because it's kind of about ready to slip off the edge there. Um, before we do that, though, let's bring this up and this down. Straighten out the... Oh, you know what? Oh, yowzers. <laughs> you know what else, too? We are really low on fuel in this thing. Okay. So, yeah, that's a thing. Oh, I've got the... I've got it turned around. No, no wonder I, I... I didn't mean to go this direction. Um. Okay, that's fine. Let's just... Turn it that way, and then we'll back... Or go forward, which is really back. And then we'll probably, yeah, this is probably good here because I, well, actually I'm going to go back this way a little bit because I need to get to that back square. Okay, let's start. Let's do that. And also... What if we take this and turn it that way a little more? Nope, don't fall off. Yeah, we can actually turn it that way even more. That's good. Yeah, much better. Okay. Much better. Does this corner not show up on the map, or did I just not mark it? It, eh. Oh, we didn't drill it. That's why. Okay. Yeah, right. We didn't drill these corners. Well, I'm, I'm not going to mess with them. We're just going to, we're just going to get what we've marked and call it good, man. That is the plan. Okay, so I'm I'm working on getting um you know this stuff. I, I'm just kind of digging my way this direction so that way everything when I swing to the right is out of the way. I don't know if that made sense to you guys or not, but it made sense to me. I know exactly what I'm doing. Or at least I like to think so. Okay, so let's bring this down and start scooping that up and get back at the digging. Our final digs, final squares here on the old Arnold parcel. It's a red letter day, man. We should get pretty decent cleanouts from this stuff too, I would think. I don't know if we're going to hit 90 ounces, but some, oh crap, some of the dirt from over there that I dug out, I was wasn't getting real good cleanouts, uh, but it got better towards the end. And then I think the last one I did on this dirt was around 80ish, which is pretty good. Not not the best we've had, of course, but pretty good. Oh, darn it! Need to get that bucket out a little further there. Probably right to about here, I'd say. Yeah, that looks good. 
So I've been um, kind of thinking a little bit about how we're going to do the move. So I guess the first step to that is, you know, we'll disconnect all of the lines, the hoses and wires, and kind of get those coiled up. I'm also wondering what the feasibility is of us using the dump truck to help move the stuff. Um, it's obviously going to be a whole lot of stuff, but I don't know how well I can get stuff into it. Getting stuff out of it is probably not going to be hard because we could just dump it, you know, but getting it in because those walls are so high, not sure how well that will work, but we'll, we'll try it and see. I do have one of the large trailers as well that we bought a long time ago and, of course, the pickup truck. So, you know, Nighthawk is a long ways away from here, so I, I want to minimize the trips that we have to make. We don't have to worry about the machinery because that will be delivered for us. And the and the big stuff too, you know, like the um, the plant the plant equipment. That stuff will be, the, be delivered for us as well as the machinery. I guess it's all machinery, but when I said machinery, I meant the the drivable stuff. Sixty-two uh, percent. Sometimes it's hard to see that. Okay, lift up just a little bit. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can reach out here and scoop up some of that. And we scrape the bedrock a little bit. James complaining. It's it's pretty impressive, I think, though, that we went All of this time, all the way to the very end of our time on Old Arnold before we had to replace the teeth on the backhoe. So yeah, that's good. And even then, you know, not all of them were completely destroyed, but they were they were all pretty low. But I imagine if I keep scraping the bedrock like that, we're gonna we're gonna wear out a lot more quickly. But they're not that expensive. More expensive, the downtime is more expensive <laughs> than purchasing new teeth. But this is some some of the best dirt, you know, on the parcels. So it's worth it to scrape the teeth a little bit to get at as much of this as we can. There we go, 100%. Let's get another scoop ready for when we come back. All right. Go dump this off and then we can start the plant. Don't know if we have enough dirt excuse me to completely fill it up it's gonna be close we're sitting at what 60 some odd percent yeah it's gonna be close but probably not we'll see though we shall see All right, uh, yeah, oh, no, we're only at 39%. Yeah, we definitely will not have enough to fill up the plant this time. I don't know why I was thinking 60, but it's only 39. All right, guys, well, I'm going to cut the camera here, and I will bring you back uh, for the clean-out and see how much gold we get out of this, because everything that's currently in the plant is from that corner that I'm currently working so we should, I'm expecting at least 80 ounces and, you know, maybe even more than that would be, would be better. So I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to do the cleanup. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, our deep rocker hose uh, got hosed <laughs> on us. Seems to me like I just replaced this doggone thing too, not too long ago. But yeah, it's, it's down. So let's get that replaced. And then I have enough dirt in the D rocker itself and... 
in the tr uh, dump truck to get our next clean out uh, done. So I figured I'd bring you guys back now and we'll do all of that together. Um, so what was I think? I was going to say something and I can't remember what it was. Okay. Well, anyway, we'll drop this over here. Get it sold and out of here. 228 bucks. All right. Yeah, we'll grab the new one. Yeah, I I, I could have sworn I just replaced this. <laughs> but uh, stuff wears out, you know. It sure does. I have to say, though, the breakdowns are not as bad as they were before I got the mechanics. They do definitely make a difference, even though they're still kind of low levelish. Uh, okay. So, there we go. And I'm just curious to see, like I said, what kind of a cleanout we're going to get on this because we are in the good dirt. We have some old parts, like uh, I still have some pumps for the duplex jigs and stuff in the shed there. We're going to just sell that because I can't think of any reason under the sun why we would want to, you know, keep any of that stuff. Uh, all right, let's get the water back on. Something's being worked on over here too, but doesn't look like it's completely broken. Might be a button. Yeah, I've got a couple broken buttons in there. You know, well, yeah, I'm not going to mess with it. I much See, this is what I was talking about. One of our mechanics is working on repairing one of these stupid buttons when it could have been working on keeping this D-Rocker hose up and running <laughs> to keep us going, you know? Um, yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm going to get rid of these. Well, actually, let's see how far they've repaired it. Maybe it's actually worth keeping now. This one is... 20%, I mean, what about this one? They're both 20%. Well, I mean, I guess we'll keep them. That's enough to, to make it worthwhile to keep. I'm going to throw them over here, though. This one should be a brand new one, the last one, I brand new one I have. But having two more of these at 20% might be just enough to keep us going until we're all done. Not that not that that's a big deal with those things anyways, but... Okay, let's move the rest of this dirt through and get this clean out going. We're at 85% on the plant, so we'll take the dump truck back and get it staged, and then we'll come back up here, and by that time, it should be pretty close to being ready. Uh, I don't know if you guys are curious, but I actually went and walked around up by those sheds up there to see if there was anything, like one of the notes or something, and there wasn't. There's nothing up there at all, so it's just a couple of old sheds and that, that water tower, which doesn't have any water in it. Or at least not any that I can get to. And uh, that's it. So, in case you're curious, that's the deal. I don't remember grabbing a, a story page from up there really early on. I haven't, um, I haven't really worked too terribly hard to find all those pages. Um, but, I mean, you know, when we come across them, we will. I'm sure we'll find some on Nighthawk. But it just doesn't really seem to be that big of a deal to me anyway. I'm not big on achievements and things like that. Unless there's a tangible reward for them. In which case, you know, that's a whole different story. All right, let's hop out of here. And we should be 100%. Okay. Matt's in a hog panner full. You're losing gold. All right. We'll turn... Oh, did you just break, you dirty rat? You sure did. All right, well, let's put the the last brand new button on. It's kind of silly that those buttons break. I, I like the idea, maybe I've already complained about this before, <laughs> about this game. I, I love the idea that stuff breaks down and we have to repair parts and stuff. Um, look, that doggone button's broken too, for Pete's sake. 
but it's just the way that they implement it is kind of cheesy. You know, uh, for example, when we had the when we had the uh, the uh, the whatever the first plant was, the rocker or whatever the heck it is. Why can't I think of what that thing's called? You know, the thing with the spring, uh, the shaker, the thing with the springs. When the springs break on it, you only have to replace two, even though there's like four springs on it. That sort of thing. It's just really weird how it's implemented. When the cylinders on the dump truck break, you only have to replace one, and it's always the same one on the same side. You know, so it's just kind of, like I said, a little bit cheesy the way that it's implemented. I would do things differently than the way it has been done in regards to that. Just make it more realistic. Like, you know, if the spring's on the... on the the uh, shaker break, I mean, you should be able to replace all of them because even if not all of them are broken, you know the rest of them are just about ready to go out too. You know, that sort of thing. So, all right. Let's disconnect these lines here and... We are sitting at uh, oh, zero ounces. Yeah, we, we don't have any ounces of gold. We'll cash it in, so that way it'll be easy to tell how much we get at the end of this clean-out. Okay, let's do this. So any anywhere between 80 and 90 ounces is my guess. And uh, if it's more than that, well, hallelujah. <laughs> if it's less than that, well, you know what? Whatever. Can only do what you can do, but uh, this is pretty good dirt. So I'm, ex uh, I'd be very surprised if it's less than 80. Let's just put it that way. So all of this equipment, all of the sluice boxes and the grates, you know, all of that stuff, we'll keep using. It's only like the main machinery that changes when you upgrade. So I guess they don't they can't really improve on the sluice box or maybe they just haven't done that to keep things simple, I don't know. Maybe a sluice box is a sluice box. I do know, however, from watching Gold Rush that the angle of the sluice box and the angle of like the little grates and stuff that they use uh, makes a huge difference. Okay, so if we see around 20 ounces from the upper sluice, then that's a good sign that we're probably going to be hitting the 80 to 90 mark. If it's less than 20 ounces, then maybe not so much. So we'll see how that comes out. All right, let's do the planters next. Get that started again. Nineteen point eight eight ounces. Okay, that's that's close. That's really close. So we might we might hit that eighty ounces. We shall see here. Put those back, and then we'll start dumping this in. So. I'm expecting to see close to 30 ounces from the planters. All right, let's grab the mats here. Water source is frozen over. That's okay. It doesn't matter to us. We got the water tank. Oh, that's another thing, too. I want, I want to make sure I have enough money to do the water tank, or the water tower, I should say, right when we get to... Uh, Nighthawk. So that way we don't have to mess with the water. We just we have it from the get-go. And, and, and we need 100 grand. Well, I'm assuming it's the same price it is on Old Arnold. Maybe it's not. Uh, but it was $100,000 to get that fixed and set up here. Oh, I'm grabbing the wrong mats. Uh, whatever. We'll just do them all. Those mats I just put in there, or two of them anyways, had just been changed over. All right, now we just want to grab, did I already load those? Oh, I already loaded them, yeah, okay. 
All right, let's run this. Okay, we can turn that off. Turn this off and put the hog pan mats back in. All right, let's turn this off. Okay, so we got... Oh, nice. We got... No, wait. We had 20. Well, we had 19.8, so let's just say 20. So we only got 16 ounces of gold from the planters. That's actually not so good. Really? Did I miss something? Hmm. I didn't miss a bucket, did I? Nope. Okay. Uh, and this is empty. I was expecting more than that. So now I'm not sure what we're going to end up with. We're going to find out, though. We are going to find out. Put these back, and then we'll do the big, the big mats. Whoops. Get out of the way, man. I'm in a hurry and I'm making too many mistakes. Okay, pick this up, put it up there, get it out of the way. Uh, you too. There we go. Slow down just a notch here, OG. There's a, such a thing as going too fast and you end up not being as efficient as the, a result. Okay, let's get that one going, and then we'll start on this side. It's too bad there was these weren't set up to where you had a nice level area right next to the, the sluice. Like a almost like a built-in platform for that very purpose. That you can just put them right on in without having to run back and forth so much. Okay, so you're done. Let's dump you in here. Other side is finished. Let's grab the bucket and get this going over here. And then we'll put these away. I'll throw this over. Okay, everything's put back together. Let's see what we end up with here. 
Oh yeah, look at that. 81.2 ounces. Okay. I was a I was a little doubtful there for a minute because we didn't get very high on the planters. I've seen the planters as high as 30 ounces, you know. Um, so I, I wasn't sure, but yeah, we hit we got over 80, so that's good. Very good. Whoops. Where'd you go? Come here. All right, fantastic. So we'll we'll have nearly a full bucket, and maybe we will actually have another full bucket of magnetite too by the time we're all done with this. Uh, okay, let's hook this hose back up, take this one off, and finish moving the dirt through the plant. All right, guys, well, I'm going to let you go here, and um, I probably will not bring you back until we do our very last uh, clean out on the, on the claim, <clears throat> or maybe our very last dig. Uh, at that point, I'll bring you back so we can all kind of share that last final moment here on Old Arnold of moving dirt. And then, of course, as mentioned, the next step will be to make the move, uh, well, to store stuff for the winter and then make the move to Nighthawk in the spring. I'm very much excited and looking forward to doing that. I hope you guys are too. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.